Peace. What's going on? So I want you to know and understand that poverty itself is a physical component that we see in many communities. You understand? Um, it separates uh, wealth. It separates resources and things of that nature. There's a difference between poverty and wealth, of course, right? And the thing is, is that as we as we live in an environment that we call poverty, that somebody else has termed poverty, and because it has particular types of standards, you understand what I'm saying, that leads up to what we would call poverty, I want you to understand that it is that it's possible to not be trapped by the environment called poverty, because it's an environment. And what we have found throughout times, throughout all of our adversities, that we can rise above adversities. But in order to rise above adversities, you have to know that there's an adversity to rise above. So if you are, if you're not aware, you understand, of certain conditions, uh, certain standards, you know I mean, then you may not be able to rise above because you may be able, you may be thinking that the environment you live in is a normal environment um, because all your life you have been in that environment and the things that's happening in that in environment, it's very normal to you. Although other people outside the environment may say things to you like, yo, it's crazy what's going on over your way, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you like this, it's normal, man. It happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. We shouldn't be saying it's normal. That happens all the time, right? But it does. So what happens is, is that poverty, you know what I'm saying, is what we have been taught means that you're poor. It really means, it says, you know, in our thought process, poverty means you don't have money. You understand what I'm saying? But poverty is deeper than that in the physical, in the physical aspect of what it does. It affects the makeup of a human being. It affects their emotional and mental makeup as well, which doesn't allow them to think in a, in a, in a, in a, in a healthy way. You know what I'm saying? Because the mind is, is set to the tune of survival. Once they recognize, you understand what I'm saying? That there's inequalities and, 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 and the, the, the unequal distribution of economic wealth and the unequal distribution of education and the broken down infrastructures between different schools and, and different sub suburbs in the city and all, all of these things until what we would call an ideal of poverty, right? Even when you look back at 1896 and you look at you look back at Plessy versus Ferguson, a landmark Supreme Court case, which said that, quote unquote, racial segregation was good as long as Asiatics had equality to Europeans. In other words, that the Asiatics had the same equal, had the same equal access to um, education and its resources that the Europeans had. But we know and understand that that wasn't true. We know and understand that that didn't happen. And we know and understand by 1900, Jim Crow laws and other things took into effect, which put us back some more. You understand? And then it wasn't until like, like the 60s or something, you know, in the Civil Rights, uh, the Civil Rights Voting Rights Act and all of that type of stuff came into existence, right? So the thing is, is that poverty has always been something that we have been, you know what I'm saying, um, revolved around or involved in since, since integration. Things have been happening to break to break the family structure down, to break the community structure down. And that had a lot to do with politics as well. So politics and government and programming has broke down or decimated many communities over the years and, and turned them into impoverished communities. But out of those impoverished communities have came many, 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 many geniuses. Many great, powerful minds have came out of the ideal of poverty. You know what I'm saying? Many geniuses, many millionaires, billionaires have came out of the ideal of poverty. But why? What made them different? Why were they able to beat the adversity of poverty? I'm going to tell you why. Because see, poverty also, not only is it physical, and when, see, when you are a product of your environment, you become your environment. But when you're not a product of your environment, you know and understand that your environment can just be a stepping stone to something greater. You see what I mean? So some of us have understood and see the science of poverty for what it is. It's just an adversity. And if you put your mind in poverty, then you're going to live there. See, in other words, what I'm saying to you is this. Basically, simply put, poverty is a mind state. Poverty is a condition. It's a mental condition as well. It's heaven or hell. These are conditions. Poverty is the same thing. Poverty is a condition. It's a mind state. You don't have to be poor. Because, see, everything starts with a thought. You don't have to be poor. You may be in a physical situation, but here you don't have to be poor. Here you can be wealthy. You can have wealth in all aspects of your life. All you have to do is see it. You know what I'm saying? You have to visualize it. You have to write it down. And you have to become what you see. 
You understand what I'm saying? And you know that poverty is only a state of mind because you have witnessed others raise themselves out of poverty, ascend themselves out of poverty. In other words, they change their mind. They simply change their mind. They stop being a product of the environment. They stopped allowing the environment to take advantage of them. And, and what they did was they allowed the environment to take advantage of them to their own benefit. See, a person can use you to your own benefit. A person can take advantage of you to your own benefit. They might not know that, but you can work it in such a way where them taking advantage of you benefits you. It's science. You understand what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with this whole idea of having a poverty mindset. If you have a ghetto mind state, you're going to do everything in a ghetto paradigm. You understand what I'm saying? If you have a particular mindset, the body follows. You know they say free your mind and your body will follow. But if you lock your mind up, your body follows as well. You see what I mean? So poverty, you don't have to be in poverty. Even though you may be experiencing a trial and tribulation, you don't have to live in it. You know what I'm saying? Just like you, we don't have to live in our depressions. You understand what I'm saying? We 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 have depression and we we stay in it because we don't know and understand that there's ways to get out of being depressed, but we're in a society that celebrates depression. They celebrate it. It's, it's like it's cool to be depressed, but it's not. See, that's an illusion as well. See, depression is a condition too. It's a state of mind that you put your... My mind is all over the place. I just can't get my mind settled. I got so much going on. Well, see, that can cause a depression. But it's all due to your own actions. You got so much going on. You need to prioritize and slow yourself down and breathe. You understand? And not try to do everything for everyone. You can't be what everybody wants you to be. That's a depression too. That you can't fit the expectations of others and be what they want you to be. That's a depression as well. See, the depression is, is caused by our own actions. But we can change that up as well with our thought process. See, it's all conditions and states of mind that you don't have to have. You understand what I mean? So just peep that science right there. You know what I mean? Poverty is a state of mind. Depression is a state of mind. But what happens with depression is, is that we have so many psychiatric pills going on. We have so many psychiatrists. And we have a, we have a society that's more than half of our society is on a pill. More than half of our society is on drugs. Legal drugs from the standard of prescription pills and psychotropic pills and psychiatric pills. And you wonder why you're going through all of these mental things. It's the pills that they're giving you that's increasing the little human condition that you have. You know what I'm saying? Because human condition and behavior works together. Humans have emotions and things of that nature. But because of psychiatry, you've been taught that you can't have an emotion. If you have too many emotions, you're bipolar. They're taking away your humanity in the same breath and you're allowing them. So understand that much of this is a state of mind in a condition. Poverty is a state of mind. You understand? It's a condition that you can beat, but you have to recognize that it's a condition, that you're not in poverty in a permanent place. It doesn't have to be permanent. It's only permanent if you choose it to be because that's the condition that you're choosing. With that, I'm going to say peace.